All right. Good morning, guys. Um, God bless you. I, I was thinking lately, you know, oh, here I am now all of a sudden saying, God bless you. What, and people are probably saying, what happened to that guy that always was about Transformers or whatever? And rest assured, I still like Transformers. It has nothing to do, you know. A hobby is just a hobby. As long as I don't give it, how should I say it? attention more than Jesus because these are just material things Jesus is not material is awesome anyway I don't want to get all preachy preachy because I'm not that person um, so there's been a question on my mind and I guess I, I wasn't prepared for it. I thought I was gonna be prepared for it because usually if other people would ask I would be ready and say you know if they ever tell me, oh, are you a Christian? And so I don't want it to, didn't want it to be rude and wait so long to respond to um, one of the followers here named Kwaye98. I hope I, re I hope I pronounced that right. Forgive me if I didn't. And I was like, well, okay, I finally got asked the question. And now I don't even know what to say. So, you know, I was going to respond right away. But then I was like, no, let me do my homework, you know, and... and Google it and find out what is the definition of Christianity. Um, there was one definition, or oh, before anything, you know, like I said, I'm always going to like Transformers because they're awesome. But um, I just don't know, lately I know a lot of my posts or live that I put has been talking about God and, um, I don't know, it's been like for a couple of months now, it's like, I feel like, you know, God is doing a 360 in my life. And I feel like it's so weird. I feel like it's about time. You know, I guess I was one of those people that they say in the Bible that, um, you know, if you know, but you still do wrong, then you're a fool, something like that, because you should know better. You know, I, I guess it's more understandable if it's a person that doesn't know right from wrong, doesn't know that the right way to live life is, you know, according to Christ, how he wants us to live. And he doesn't ask for much, you know. And, and it's not like you have to do a whole bunch of penance and a whole bunch of good deeds or whatever, because I realize, too, you can't earn your way into heaven like that. It's, uh, my brother said something to my mother one time. He said, uh, Mom, you can't buy God or buy his favor, you know. Um, so I realized that we are just blessed that Jesus Christ still offers us salvation and a life with him even after death without, you know, doing things. But I also realized that that doesn't mean that you don't do good. What I'm trying to say is that you should do good because it's the right thing. And because it's the right thing, it ends up glorifying God because you're doing it out of your heart. You're not doing it because out of homework or to earn points. You're literally letting that come out of your heart, out of your soul, to care for another person, to love another person. And I know it's so weird because these days, you know, people find love weird because we're all about ego trips, self-centeredness, greed, power, money, lust. And yeah, that's one of my weaknesses. But we'll get to that another day if if the Holy Spirit wants me to talk about it, I will. But for now, let me just calm down and just <laughs> deal with just one topic. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Something's been happening in my life lately, and I guess, you know, I'm paying attention to what's happening around the world. And I've been noticing that for a while, but I just didn't pay attention to it so well until now. I guess it's so weird, and I don't want to be part of the trend, but I'm having those woke moments, but the right woke moments with Christ. You know, realizing, oh my goodness, there's more evil happening in the world. It's getting a little bit too weird. Like, it's happening back to back to back. You know, uh, human trafficking, child trafficking, 
fires in in Maui, Hawaii, fires in California, um, hurricanes um, in Beijing, a flood like crazy, all these things, and it's like, wait a minute, this is like this doesn't even sound like normal weather occurrences that happen yearly. This is like all of a sudden back to back to back to back to back to back to back, and, you be, and then you start wondering like, what's going on? You know, this is too weird, and then like. You see, and then you know it's even more weird but I should have realized it because you know things are not told to us because we're brainwashed so that we can follow a certain way so we don't see what's really happening behind the curtain or behind closed doors but then sooner or later it, it's, it's like God said these things would they will show themselves and you will see it you just have to pay attention and look for the signs and oh my goodness, <laughs> I've been seeing signs like crazy, and um, and and even even now, all of I can say all of us by now, we're even seeing that. Have you noticed that even Satanism is coming to the forefront? Now you see it in every music. You see almost a lot of celebrities in their videos, in their tours and concerts, just like like nothing, like. Like, like showing that off, like really having the balls. And then I say to myself, wow, this is evil finally saying, I'm not going to hide it anymore. I'm going to show it right in your faces. And I'll bet you, you'll still be so brainwashed that you'll just go with the status quo. And eh, you look at, oh, that's just entertainment. What an affair. And that's like evil saying, you're such fools. Because now I'm even throwing it in your face. And you still don't see the obvious. I got you. I got you so good. But then there are some people that realize, wait a minute. I'm finally realizing what's going on and I'm being played. Oh, no, 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 no. And then you go back. Then you start seeing connections as you read the Bible. And you be like, oh my goodness. It, it's no joke. <laughs> I'm not saying it. You know, trust me. Uh, I didn't think I'd be one of those people to say that, but it's no joke. It starts connecting. And it gets so weak. It's like, oh my goodness. Okay, he said this is what and this happened. It said that, and this happened. Oh my goodness. God said there's gonna be signs. There's gonna be earthquakes. Uh, 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 but like more intense, more than ever, all around the world. And what's happening? Exactly that. And it's and, and then all of a sudden you see people even proclaiming evil like nothing. You know what I mean? Like having no more. How should I say? No having no more shame, just having the balls and just put it out there, like, like literally, almost like saying like a finger to God. And I'm like, oh my goodness, and then we look at these, cele these are these supposed to be the celebrities that we're supposed to look up to or whatever, because we should never ever look up to celebrities. And I hate when people even be like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to go to Beyonce concert, oh my goodness, I just saw Beyonce. It's like, when have you ever done that for God and say, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see Jesus. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to talk about Jesus. I can't wait to hear about Jesus. We don't do none of that, but yet we always tell people, oh yeah, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah. And you even see celebrities say, oh yeah, I, I want to thank Jesus for this award, whatever. But you never, ever rarely see them do a song about Jesus. It's always about sex. It's always about Hey, live your own life, your way, however you want it. Who cares what other people think? It's all about money. It's all about degrading women and calling them, you know, B-I-T-C-H. And having a big laugh about it. And, and then I'm like, okay, this is like, okay, this is like disturbing my core now, like. And me, I came from um, a Pentecostal background. I don't consider myself Pentecostal ever, and I never want to, but... And I'm not saying that there's bad Pentecostals out there. Only Jesus is the judge of everything. I have no right to judge nobody. I just came from that, and I just don't want to be that. And because of that, I'm realizing that... And then I also realize... Did you know in the Bible says that even Jesus said he hates religion. He doesn't like religion. 
And I guess because he knew how we were going to just distort everything and make it our way and not his way. And because of that, people get so confused. And um, anyway, I just wanted to explain, you know, in a way, well, why all of a sudden I'm talking about Jesus and I feel like I love him. Um, I don't know. I, I, I finally decided. Well, anyway, that's another story. But I just finally decided then. I think I'm not going to lie. It was fear. It was when, you know what? Did you know that even Jesus takes you, even if if it takes fear to finally wake you up, and yet you still have that chance to be a part of him, to be a part of his life, to be friends with him, <laughs> to be a child of him, of his. So sometimes I say to myself, wow, Jesus is so awesome because he extends his hand and if you, if, if you still don't take it, the hand is still out there, but he reminds you that sooner or later, hey, what I said, I can't help it. It's going to happen because, you know, the world needs to cleanse itself of all this madness so that you can feel love, you can feel peace. But the only way you can feel that, you have to join me. You know, you have to hold hands with me, you know, and trust in me. Um... It's true what they say, if you put your trust and faith in God, don't worry. And there's going to be times because now that you're starting to think with a positive mind, you're starting to think with a Christ-like mind, I'm trying to every day, I'm not perfect. That there's going to be times where you're going to start going through things because the enemy doesn't like the fact that you're actually doing something good. You always notice that when you're doing something bad, nobody bothers you. Yeah, they might criticize you or that, whatever, but nothing stresses you. Life all of a sudden becomes a little bit too comfortable, too easy. But when you're doing something good, it's like all of a sudden you get challenged. You know, is this real? And people challenge you, evil challenges you, whatever. Because I started realizing, wow, when you really do good, I guess you really are on the right path because evil will do what it takes to stop you from doing good. So that means evil is scared, not you. Evil is scared. You're scared that this is a new experience, but at the same time, you know that this feels right inside you for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I'm going to butcher what a person said one time, but it's so true. He said something about that. The truth is always there, that even if you deny it, even if you don't want to accept it deep in your core, you know that the fundamental, you know the fundamental of that, you know that it's true because you feel it in your core. And that's how I always felt with Jesus, but, you know, I was always going back and forth to him, back and forth to him, back and forth to him. Why? Because I was trying to live life my way, so it can be easy, but I felt, I didn't feel right. I always felt guilt. I always felt darkness. I always felt like, I'm doing this for someone who really doesn't care about me. Whether I'm, whether I'm doing it consciously or whether I'm aware of that evil or not, I'm doing something for something that does not care about me at all, but uses me. So, I don't know. I'm on, it's, been, it's been a couple of months now, and I'm on this journey just to it. I want to embrace Jesus. I was afraid, and I started seeing all the things that are happening all around and I started reading the Bible and realizing oh my goodness it's, it, it, in here it says exactly what is happening in the real world and then I started realizing you see God is not playing he's still giving you a sign he's still giving you a warning and yet the most beautiful thing is his hand is still out there even if you're afraid he'll take you like that too and then next thing you know he'll take away that fear too and then you'll realize of course, I told God, please forgive me. You know, I'm coming to you not only because of out of fear, because of having with all around the world. That's that's messed up. You know, I should be coming to you naturally and generally, whether or not there is tragedies happening in the world, not because I realize, you know, there is peace with you. It, you bring out the better part of myself. You help me to be a better human being that I can actually go out there and, and be conscious and be like, you know, I don't want to hurt this person or I want to respect this person. I don't want to judge this person. Um, 
I want to talk to this person, right? Because, you know, no one likes someone that delivers a message all nasty and horrible. But when you're kind and, and, and you show love, and you show kindness to others, even if you feel like they don't deserve it, or even if they treat you wrong and you still show that, there's something so profound and so humbling about that then. It, it no longer matters to you that that person is treating you like crap or that person is crap to other people. It's like you just start realizing Jesus is right. Not only is this making him proud of me, but it makes me feel good inside. I'm still working on it because frustration and anger is one of my issues. And if you were to see one of my videos, I talked about them. And I hope it helps out. Like it's helping me out every day. But anyway, I digress. I know it got to the point. So Kwame98 um, sent me a comment and said, Are you a Christian? I guess because from what I was posting and saying. And I was like, oh. The question's finally been asked, what do I say? So I did my homework and I wanted to, you know, first look up women's Christian. Now, here's the reason why I'm going to tell you the truth. Here's the reason why sometimes I have a, a problem saying or labeling myself as a Christian. Not to say that people who, are, who call themselves Christian, not to say that all of them are bad. I've just noticed that a lot of people like to use that title but they never show the Christ-like attributes of a Christian, of a person, you know, that believes in Jesus. You know, and then there's a lot of people, including myself, and I'm pretty sure many of you guys out there, that we get discouraged by that. And, you know, we be like, oh, no, I don't want no part of it because look how they're coming at me. First, they come at me, screaming at me, um, telling me I'm going to hell. I mean... Don't get me wrong, I feel that there's still a way about it just to let you know, hey, I care about you, I love you, I just don't want to see this happen to you. But then you have a lot of people out there that, you know, it makes you feel more like if they're judging you, like if it's coming more out of their own selves than out of the guidance of Christ. Because I believe when Christ is guiding you, you end up talking to a person in such a way that it is it, it, it's profound and that person doesn't walk away that but instead that person be like hmm interesting you know I like the way this person's coming at me you know this person's not chastising me or anything like that but he's still telling me the truth and yeah the truth hurts but because it's hurting me that means it's true and hmm so you know, there's just a lot of bad Christians, bad people out there who, who call themselves Christians and they don't do, do Christ-like things and they can actually scare people away from Christ. And I don't want, and I don't, no one, and I don't want anyone to think here that all Christian people are bad. I guess, <laughs> wow, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I guess, um, like it says in the Bible, Jesus says, my sheep will know me. And I guess that can go the other way around too, that you will know who's actually from Jesus and who's not. Because like I said, Jesus never liked religion. So I guess that's why, you know, I always tell myself, I don't know if I want to label myself as Christian because, you know, there's been a lot of bad representations of that title. But then there's been some good. So then I looked up, you know, the definition of Christianity. I asked Google. Let me see what it says here. Okay. It says here, Christianity. Christianity is an Abrahamic monotheistic religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. Now, here's what, here's what you know... Mm. Here's what mm, I couldn't relate myself to. Because I say, it even says, in the, you know, that Jesus doesn't like religion. And for me to read it and for it to say, is an Abraham a monotheistic religion, just to see that word religion again, I was like, no, you know, you know, that's not what I want to follow. But I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm just saying that a lot of people have messed it up. I made it look wrong. But because I believe, and even read, that Jesus, you know, doesn't like religion, 
So then I saw another definition of Christianity or being a Christian. And it says, um, I can't say the whole definition because I forgot some of it, but I know it said, being a follower of Christ. Now that I like. I like that a lot. You know, because I'm like, I'd rather consider myself a follower of Christ and just work on showing Christ-like attributes and treat all my brothers and sisters equally and with kindness and with love and patience. But, you know, hopefully me sharing my experiences with them will make them curious enough to want to know about Jesus Christ too. And it doesn't have to be religion. Because there's so many religions out there. So I like the fact, I like that. So I guess, you know, I'd rather be the definition of Christian than the title. Not to say that it's wrong, though. If there's anybody out there that considers themselves Christian and, you know, you work on showing Christ-like attributes, that's a beautiful thing. God bless you. This is just my own personal journey I guess with God and, and I always tell Jesus Jesus I don't want to be a Christian I want to be a follower of you because I just want to be able to show myself and if you want me to show others that I'm following you and following you means doing the things that you do everything was always out of love and kindness and helping but telling you the truth but still kindness and you know just Love. I never realized how powerful that word can become until you actually put it into practice. So Quiet 98, I hope that answers your question in a way that um, I prefer to be the definition and the action of what it is to be a Christian than the title. But it's okay if you want that title or if anyone else wants that title. The only thing that matters is to God is as long as you behave in the same manner that he behaved and was always like with us. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question and um, thank you for re responding and asking me that question because, hey, you know, it makes a person, okay, it's time for self-reflection and, you know, time to think deeper and, you know, and I had to literally, you know, I was like, God, before I answer this question, you know, help me to um, say this the right way so that I don't make people run away from you, but be more curious about you because I present myself in a way that, that you've always presented yourself to people, which is very comforting. So, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, I, ho I hope it answers your question, Quarian and Ed, and any others who've had that same question. And um, if Jesus Christ permits it and wants me to do it, I will, you know, just share my experiences or journeys with you here and there, uh, what happens to me on a day-to-day, -day, or if I have a dream or something. But I won't do any of it unless... Jesus wants me to do it because as a human being we tend to sometimes go back to evil worldly things like vanity and we you know we portray ourselves on these channels or whatever but it, and sometimes it, it seems like if we care about people but it's really really doing it for us and I don't want to be that type of person you know I want to do things for him first and for anyone out there who um, can use a little comforting, can use a little advice. So I'm not perfect. I'm still on my journey. All I can suggest to you is um, if you're curious enough, which I hope you are, just pay attention to what's happening. I think if nothing else can scare you or get you, or get you to think. Or be curious about Jesus, just look all around the world and realize, oh my goodness, this is madness. This madness happening like crazy. So um I just want to grab on to Jesus, tell him to forgive me for not grabbing on sooner, but to show me 
to do the right things in life because it's the right thing to do and not to earn points with you but in doing so it makes you happy which makes me happy and I get to be with him if everything crashes down and I hope we all can be with him and don't judge him the way the wrong people have uh, have portrayed him <laughs> trust me I guarantee this I can guarantee because I can't guarantee anything but this I can guarantee because it's even happened to me one day challenge yourself take a chance even if you don't know him or if you do know him just say are you real get on your knees one day and you don't have to tell no one about it or show no one about it. It even says it. It even says it in the Bible. Look how... What's that word? What's that word? Look how modest Jesus is and, and not vain. He even says in his word that when you pray to him, go somewhere in private, go in the closet, lock the doors, don't let anybody know what you're doing. Don't let anybody see what you're doing and just pray to him. So that you don't have to be one of those people trying to get attention. Oh, look, look, I'm praying to God. Don't you think I'm Don't you think I'm so holy? No. So that's what Jesus said. One day, take a chance. Get on your knees and just say, hey, you know, I don't know you. People talk about you. Are you real? Uh, what are you all about? Whatever you feel in your heart, you need to discuss with him, which is none of my business because that's between you and him. Just like whatever I discuss with God, sometimes it's between me and him. Unless, you know, I feel the need to share, then I feel like, okay, he wants me to share. So just do that and see what happens. I guarantee you, because I was the same way. I guarantee you, if you do that sincerely, just like you would do any other thing that you want to take serious, even if it's for a moment, if you do that sincerely with all your heart, something's going to happen to you and you're going to gag. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say because everybody has a different experience with Jesus. But you're going to gag. That's all I'm going to say. And But it, trust me, it's going to be... A mind-blowing experience. That's that's the best I can say. Okay. Um, don't worry. So gonna sometime post Transformers as you see it today. Um, I sent a video earlier just uh, doing a flashback of all the Transformer things I used to do or whatever. I hope you guys enjoy it. But I hope you guys enjoy this more. And um, that's it. So have a good day, guys. Um, peace and love. I can't believe I'm saying this because I, I gotta get used to saying this, but it's true. Jesus loves you. Loves me, loves us all. And the hand is still out, but even I'm realizing, I think it even says in the Bible, the hand is still out, but slowly, little by little, the door is closing. So, don't wait for that door to, to shut. That's all I can say. Not forcing you. Just think about it. I love you guys. Jesus love you. Peace and love. Bye.